Okay. Um, hi, I'm Kaylee Warren. Um, I did an intern internship with Dane G. Hansen Foundation, but it was for Lovewell. Um, I'm Kaylee Warren, obviously. Um, I'm a junior, I will be a junior at K-State. Um, I'm a theater major, I'm a stage management emphasis, but I'm also getting a certificate in the business of sports and entertainment management. So they all kind of run together. Once you go to college, you kind of realize everything is connected in a way. And so I'm just trying to get the most out of my college experience, even with not actually being in college and doing everything virtually. Um, so what is Dane G. Hansen? Dane G. Hansen Foundation, it serves Northwest Kansas. Um, grants provided to businesses and they benefit those communities. The grant that was given to Lovewell, um, Lovewell, and I'll talk about Lovewell, um, is an international creative arts institute. It was created in Salina, Kansas. Um, just to give you a perspective, while we were doing workshops in um, Kansas, there were workshops going on in Ohio, Florida, and Sweden. So just to give you a range of what, how big Lovewell is and who I got to work with. Um, like I said, Lovewell was created in Salina. Professionals come in and through Lovewell you can do a three week workshop, but we just did one week workshop, so we just had little one act um, productions that went on. But professionals come in and the students write, choreograph, design, um, all the musical aspects. And so you come in Monday morning with nothing on a page and Friday night at seven o'clock, curtains up, there's a show with music, dancing, fully developed characters, themes, and everything like that. Um, so it's really cool to have that. Um, so mine is a little different than most internships. I was just a month internship. I have visited four different communities. I was in Russell, Kansas, which is the thrice upon a time, Concordia, Kansas, which was blackout, Phillipsburg, Kansas, which was unscripted, and I was supposed to go to Hoxie, got a call Wednesday before I was supposed to go to Hoxie, and they're like, we're switching you to Salina, which is nice because I got to sleep in my own bed, but I got switched to Salina, Kansas, which is my hometown, and we did family business. Um, all of these posters, one of, my, one of my biggest, not biggest, I would say, but one of my big things I had to do that week is I sat down with the students and went into Photoshop and created just kind of an outline of what these posters are. And then I sent them to our graphic designer, Toby in Ohio, and she created those and sent them back. And yeah, you can really see how creative they are. So if you see on Phillipsburg, which is the unscripted one, KFG was actually a part of the show. Some kid came in Tuesday morning and wanted to be the founder of Kentucky Fried Grouse. Um, and that became a very large aspect of a show and you wouldn't expect it to, but they all loved it. We had a sh whole song about Kentucky Fried Grouse. Um, I'm sitting there Googling to see what a grouse is. <laughs> um, but, and so they wanted a logo. So I sat there and made a Kentucky Fried Grouse logo. Um, I don't think it would be very good. And we had to get McNuggets cause he ate grouse on stage. Um, Next, why is it important? First off, it, Lovewell will always have a special place in my heart because it was created in Salina. Um, and it's just, love these students and these communities don't get the kind of, even that I get in Salina, they don't get the opportunities to do shows, to have creative outlets that they get to sit on a stage and perform or even write. I mean, um, so Lovewell comes into these communities and these students really, this is gonna sound cheesy, but it's really life-changing for these students. Um, Thursday night, we have something called a kind thought circle. And during those kind thought circles, people straight up cry because they don't get to sit in a room with creative people. And they feel, one thing that we heard week after week is that they feel heard. Um, Cause sometimes it's not about the show that we put on stage. Um, Love Well is about process over product and so some students just don't maybe fit in communities um, or they kind of have bad home lives or something like that and so being able to come for a week nine to five nine to seven nine to ten um, sit there and get a talk about what they like to do um, is really I mean life-changing for these students um, I also get experience that I would have missed out on because of COVID theater is not happening right now honestly <coughs> 
Um, I was going to work at K-State this summer and then Betsy <laughs> reached out to me and she's like, do you want to do this? I'm like, sure. Um, and I was also given tasks that, tasks that brought in my toolbox. Um, what did I do? Um, I did a lot. Um, I basically, I contacted, if you can see on the bottom in the middle, I was in charge of press releases. And so I just wrote to local newspapers, this is KSAL in Salina, that said, hey, we're having a show, it's free, students do it all, blah, blah, blah. That was part of mine, um, posters. My last week, I actually got moved to Salina. Like I said, I got moved because we were missing a professional artist there. Um, when I was working in Russell Phillipsburg in Concordia, we had a choreographer and a director, and then a m separate music director, um, Amber and Eric, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And I still like wrote scenes, so the students write their own lines, but they kind of need guidance on like, does this sound okay? So I would sit with students and write scenes, um, most of the time, I was in charge of lighting and sound, and I also got to work with Jason a lot. Jason came and filmed every week. Um, I was also in charge of if the creatives needed a break, I would play games. I have a whole arsenal of games. Um, but it really made me realize that, and I knew this because I'm a stage manager, but theater is more, impo more important and has a lot more things than just standing on a stage and reading lines. Um, and then, I, like I said, I got to work with professionals on this is what we need to do today, this is the outline, this is where songs are gonna go, um, stuff like that. This is Amber and Eric. <laughs> Amber and Eric, um, they are from California, they are the professionals that are brought in. Um, Eric was our music director, he would literally just pull out his guitar and start playing and that's how we wrote a song. Um, then students would say the lyrics, but that's Eric, and then Amber, she's amazing, she's a choreographer, but you really, I have so many more connections now because of Amber and Eric, because they are working professionals. Um, in California, um, Eric also teaches trapeze, and so kind of, there's so much more to theater than, than just being on a stage. Um, it's also more than theater. I spent the weekends traveling because we would have to leave one community and go to the other, um, I've never been to the geographical center of the United States, so that was kind of cool. That was a little road trip I took. I also spent time in Cortland. Um, we also stopped by the Threshing Bee. Um, and being from Salina, it's kind of different because it's not a small town. It's not a small town. And so being able to experience really just like little things like that was made it kind of cool. And then I just want to thank the Dane G. Hansen Foundation and Betsy Wearing. Um, in my internship, I had, I think I counted like five people that I had to report to. I didn't just report to Betsy. Um, I didn't just report to Amber and Eric. I also had, I want to thank the Lovewell Institute for the Creative Arts. Carrie Gilcrest lives in Sweden. She's originally from Salina, Kansas. She is the head of Lovewell. Um, and so I was always in constant contact with her. Jamie Johnson, she is the Kansas chapter director of Lovewell. I also worked with her much, a lot. Um, Amber and Eric and Michael, who Michael was the Salina professional, so I worked with him for a week. And I want to thank Next Tech and Next Gen Internships and Jackie for giving me the opportunity to do this that I wouldn't get. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs>